more than a dozen people's personal information mistakenly sent to one woman. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 11. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. It's been three weeks since we first told you about this story, and the Virginia Employment Commission has still not given us any answers. 8 News reporter Ben Dennis tried going there to their headquarters today, actually today and yesterday. Ben, how did those trips go? Well, Eric and Deanna, for weeks, the VEC has brushed us off, given us the cold shoulder, providing no specifics how a Henrico woman had access to confidential personal documents from people across the country. So, as you mentioned, we went to the VEC headquarters yesterday and today seeking answers. This is the Virginia Employment Commission. It's a state agency. What do you mean we're not supposed to be in here? Kicked out twice from the VEC headquarters. We're just looking for some answers from the commissioner, ma'am. Is she here? Is someone coming down to meet us? For weeks, the beleaguered agency has not shared an explanation of why Sierra Williams in Henrico had access to 90 pages of personal information about 16 people from across the country. And at no fault of her own, people's social security numbers were listed in full or in part. I wondered, you know, who else might have this information? The document dump PDF was on her online VEC profile after she filed an unemployment claim. That PDF was first faxed to the VEC from a Nashville based employment verification group in March. A lawyer for the group, Thomas and Company, said they would take whatever action is needed to make sure it doesn't happen again. Three weeks after our story, still no word from the VEC on why they passed along the information to Williams. After our story aired, the VEC spokesperson, Joyce Fogg, declined to share specifics, only saying the documents were no longer visible and their system has also been updated. No word on what that means. All of this is why we showed up at their headquarters yesterday and today, only to be met by a security guard who told us we couldn't be at this public agency, and she could not connect us to someone to talk to without telling us why. But why can we not come inside the VEC? No explanation? So it appears that the security guard is taking a photo of us, which she has every right to do so. We waited. No one came out. No one called, including the VEC spokesperson. We can't even get through to her voicemail. You have reached Joyce Fogg. Communications manager at the Virginia Employment Commission. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. Different day, same issue. Radio silence tonight, even still. Our three requests for an interview with VEC Commissioner Carrie Roth, who was only recently appointed earlier this year, had they have either been flat out denied or fallen on deaf ears. Despite our best efforts, we still don't know why the confidential information for over a dozen people was put in jeopardy. In Henrico, Ben Dennis, 8 News.